Item number SCP-4445-EX Object Class Explained Special Containment Procedures SCP-4445-EX's habitat has been declared a conservation zone through appropriate foundation fronts. Teams are to monitor SCP-4445-EX's population and keep civilians away. Description SCP-4445-EX are quadruped vertebrates similar in structure to members of the clade Therophora. Instances of SCP-4445-EX possess thick segmented skin over a layer of calcite scales similar to the skin of Cercelians and other amphibians and are usually bright green, blue or purple in color. The creatures are able to partially breathe through their skin whether submerged in water or on land. The heads of SCP-4445-EX are small for the body size and contain two small eyes, a bifurcated tongue, and a plop shaped mass of sensory tentacles emerging from the upper snot. This organ detects vibrations and infrared light. SCP-4445-EX's back is colonized by 17 to 22 bright green symbiotic cuttlefish-like organisms that are fused to its body and share its bloodstream. These organisms are flattened into a triangular shape and help sustain SCP-4445-EX through a combination of photosynthesis and nitrogen fixing. In return, SCP-4445-EX feeds mainly on soil and river plants, providing necessary minerals to the symbiotes. SCP-4445-EX and symbiotes share a nervous system, and the endotrophs in the symbiotes allow for brief color changes depending on SCP-4445-EX's condition, including when it is startled, flashing white, territorial, magenta, or asleep, aquamarine. The mating season for SCP-4445-EX lasts approximately two months, from mid-August to mid-October. During this period, male SCP-4445-EX instances, tongues will engorge and quadruple in size. Males use their tongues to dig through the soil and riverbed, searching for specific rocks. Next, male instances will use their spiked tails to dig roughly circular ditches and line them with their chosen rocks, then lie down in the center of their circles. Female SCP-4445-EX instances will seek out a male with a suitable rock circle. Once one is selected, the female will slowly walk around the circle, eating the rocks as she walks. Once she has completed a revolution, the female will call to the male and flash its symbiote's indigo, at which point the male will extend its tongue toward the female and insert it fully into her mouth. After five to six months, the female SCP-4445-EX will lay a clutch of small, elongated eggs that hatch within a few weeks. Juvenile SCP-4445-EX instances lack back symbiotes. The mothers therefore regurgitate small symbiont eggs to the young upon hatching. The eggs migrate to the young SCP-4445-EX's back upon consumption, where they hatch. Once hatched, the symbiont fuses to the instance and grows steadily as it ages. Several herds of SCP-4445-EX were discovered and classified as an SCP during an exploration mission in the New Guinea Highlands, where a long-hidden cannon system and river had been exposed. Since then, eight other subspecies of SCP-4445-EX have been discovered. Study and dissection of SCP-4445-EX instances from different subspecies show that their skeletons are identical to various species of Stegosaur fossils, including Stegosaurus, Rhosasaurus, and Hesperosaurus. Following this discovery, usage of various anomalous objects was requisitioned by MTF-Fi-2 Clever Girls 
and granted in an attempt to view stegosaurs during their original timeline, resurrect stegosaurs from fossils, or recreate stegosaurs from DNA sources. More attempts resulted in SCP-4445-EX. It's the weirdest thing. I've spent 20 years studying fossils, learning how to put the bones together right, and I'm just absolutely blindsided by these things and how perfectly they fit the fossil record. You'd never expect that stegosaurs look like this. Dr. Colina Barrera, lead paleontologist. In 2007, a joint zoology paleontology department's research team determined that no part of SCP 4445 EX was anomalous and that their physiology and symbiosis could be explained through existing evolutionary theory. <laughs>